want to do a quick tutorial on the transport within Core Gadget. A while ago, Core Gadget updated to have transport ability. I never did a video on it, but that was an option that was not in Gadget right out the gate when it started and something that was heavily requested from the very beginning. Now your normal CC control, you have to be within a synthesizer, open up the function ability, and you have your control parameters for the individual synths, drum machines, samplers, whatever instrument you're working on. To find the actual transport options, you must go to the settings in the upper right that looks like the gear icon. Five options down, you'll see the option of transport CC, and that is obviously the section you want to deal with. In this section, you have play and pause, stop, record, loop, and metronome. You can all set to a control parameter. If something is assigned to that specific parameter, you will see the um, represented control number next to that name. If not, it'll say assign. And to assign a new parameter, you either click the old parameter to change it or click the assign button, which would be there if it's blank. Once you do that, it'll start blinking and you simply press the button you would like to assign to that parameter. For example, I will now change the play button over to the double arrow button, just as an example. As you see, I easily moved my play button. Now I'll move my play button back to the original parameter and I'll add my loop button. So now I can turn on loop mode simply by hitting the button and control my play and stop. As you can see, it gives you full control over Gadget. You don't have to deal with touching the iPad at all, which is something you had to do for a very long time. And you have a MIDI controller or a hardware controller. You can now fully assign you know, control factors to that machine and you have to touch the iPad even less, which is awesome. And even though a lot of my sounds and synthesizers and drums and all that stuff come from Gadget, most of the time all the pretty much all the time i'm working from a midi controller so having that option when korg brought that in i was so happy this video is kind of late but if you've missed it definitely start assigning those controls it makes a world of a difference it turns it into much more of a groove box workstation it's awesome what korg is turning gadget into today and as always stay positive stay creative support each other in peace